My name is Elena and I have one question. How can one pill prevent radioactive exposure? Well, hi Elena. Um, thank you for your question. It's actually a very difficult question and I am going to rephrase it a little bit because we're not trying to prevent radiation exposure with a single pill. What we're trying to do is to mitigate the effects of internal contamination with radioactive materials. And we're particularly focusing on a series of elements um, that are at the bottom of the periodic table and that we can find in a lot of processes related to the nuclear industry. And they're called the lanthanides and the actinides. And um, all the actinides are radioactive elements and some of the lanthanides have isotopes that are radioactive. And what happens, what we're concerned about is when people would be internally contaminated with such elements, um, and we're trying to design selective molecules that will target the elements once inside the body and form complexes that can be easily excreted um, through the urine or the feces. So this is an important difference between just radiation exposure, since there is a lot of radiation in the background in the environment from the sun and internal contamination. And what we've seen, for example, is what happened in um, events in Japan a few years ago after the Fukushima power plant accident in that people were very fearful of radioactive elements in the environment and potential contamination of people. Um, and so this is the kind of problems that we want to address. If there was an, if such an event here where people would be contaminated with elements, we would want to develop um, this drug that we can also administer in a proper way. So through an oral pill, um, instead of just handing needles to people, um, and so that they can be more resilient to a contamination event. And this goes back to a lot of work that has been done at Berkeley Lab over the past five decades. We have really a historical expertise in that area and coordination chemistry of those heavy elements, but it also um, is relevant to a new center that is being created at Berkeley Lab that is called the Institute for radiological resilience and that we are pulling together a lot of different expertise in nuclear sciences, life sciences, and chemical sciences so that we can really provide scientific answers to the questions raised after a nuclear event um, and potential contamination. And so that will be done over the next few years where we can really start providing um, good scientific reasoning so that people are more resilient um, to nuclear events.